Hello everyone, and welcome to a new edition of Jaltis Diagnostics Vlox. My name is Miguel, and this time I will show you how to perform a DPF regeneration on John Deere, which types of regions are available, and when you have to do the SCR verification system procedure. First of all, from the main screen, we will select our tractor. Remember, we can filter by family, by model name, by system, or by category. Okay, here on the right I have all of the electronic systems available, and this time I'm selecting an interim tier 4 engine. But first, here you have some information about how to hook up your connector. Here we have the diagnostic menu for the engine. If I click on monitoring and system display, we will see the anti-pollution system of this engine. Here we have an EGR system, a DOC, and a DPF system, as you can see on the system display. Now that we know the anti-pollution system of this engine, let's say we need to perform a DPF region, maybe because we have some fault codes, or maybe because we have a high level of soot content in our DPF. We will go to Maintenance, Diesel Particulate Filter, and here we have two options. John Deere engines with diesel particulate filter have six suit content levels from zero to five. If we have a level zero, it is not necessary to perform any region, but if we have a level from one to five, we will need to do it. One means low, two means medium, three means high, four means a too high uh, suit content level, and five is the maximum, which means service mode. Depending on the suit content, the engine will allow us to perform the first regular region or the second one, with suit level under service mode. Now that we know that we have to choose one or another region, let's see the difference between them. The first regular region will last around one hour, depending on the suit content. But this will take about three hours, because we have to remove more suit content. After doing this action, it is advisable to perform a differential pressure reset, just to, t just to tell the ECU the new values we have. Okay, after this first part, let's choose another engine. In this case, not only with DPF, but also with an SUR anti-pollution system. So we will choose a final tier 4 engine. Okay, this is the diagnostics menu. So if we go to monitoring and display the system, We will see that now we have an SCR anti-pollution system that we didn't have before in the interim tier 4. Now if we go to maintenance, diesel particular filter region, we only have one option and this is to make things a little bit easier for you guys. Okay, there's an important thing to remember and if we have two particulate fault codes, we cannot do a region. We have the 4364.18 or the 4364.01 fault code. We cannot do our region. These fault codes reference to a low efficiency of the SGR conversion and will cause an engine power rate. After fixing this issue, we will go to system checks and verification of the SGR system fault repair. This process performs a region, creating specific operation conditions and monitoring the outlet knocks in order to finally determine if it's an acceptable level or not. At the end of this process, active fault codes should now be passive and they could be cleaned from the ECU, so the engine power D rate will be removed. As you have seen, this whole process is very easy and it will take us just a few minutes to start a DPF region or the verification of the SUR system fault repair of our John Deere engine. If you like our video, do not forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Thank you for watching and see you soon.